Hey up everyone, Saturday morning, the time is 20 to 8, just after. We're in my back garden and I'm going to be putting in a little sleeper wall today. I call it a sleeper wall, it's instead of using sleepers. But we all know what a sleeper wall is, that's something that supports a concrete floor. Anyway, before we get into this video, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button uh, and hit the notification bell and then you'll always be reminded when I upload a video and you won't miss anything. And what do you say to that, Bruce? Go on then. Anyway. If you like the video, give it a like, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'll just show you exactly what I'm gonna be doing today. So, across there, there's gonna be a path, but I need something to hold back this earth when I put on my fake grass. So this path is gonna be level, and it's gonna run straight through across and sit on top of the wall. So that's gonna be 900, I'm gonna use 450 by 450 slabs, so I'm gonna need 900, Back from there, and that is going to be the face of my wall. This is going to be block flat in there. I'm going to run that all the way across. I'm starting from the highest end, and then working with it. Well, really, you're supposed to start from your lowest, but I know that all this is low down here. <clears throat> so what I may do is... What's my dog doing? I may just get some of this, level that up in there, and then work my way from the bottom end all the way up to the top where the steps are and then we should be something like so i'm going to put you on a time lapse and you can just enjoy a bit of me just going on with it today i'm just going to load all these blocks up onto the wall ready to go in their desired position because at least then all i got to do is move them from there to there nice and easy anyway. I'm only getting too high, so that's plenty. I've got to move all this timber, fencing that I've got spare. I'm going to put that in the front um, at a later date, but for now it's going to have to go up in the garden. And the timber is going to get shifted here. I've put down some batten just to keep it off the floor. It only needs just to be kept off the floor so it is not wet all the time and the moisture will go through. So let's get that from there. So there. Today I am actually mixing and I'm using a bucket of water instead of the hose pipe because I can't be arsed on real at all. And I've got a battery so I can chuck it all in there straight from the mixer straight into the barrel get it up to the back quicker save buckets is all I haven't had a barrel for the last few times have I I've just shoved off a bag in there cement and I'll just shove the rest in sand water and cement always first that's what I do anyhow
that's how you take the bar up. That'll just get all these spots dotted out and then we're ready for go. Let's get on the deck, I think, for these. Uh, so I'll have one there. And then right to all the straight off this edge of this wall here I'm going to bring it across so I've got all my blocks here now I'm going to start off with two R's because I want two full ones on top ideally I'll just eat dead and half but I'll do skinny joints on it yeah that was a good cut First time, I'm asking. Beautiful. Right. Use the good edge. I'll use the good edge to the front. Here's Mummy the camera woman. <laughs> I'm using a set square, folding square, because what I do want, I want the back of that wall to so run parallel with the front one because, oh, it's in a bad. Because I want me, me, paving to be square is what I want so if I run this off like that get me square up against the back of this wall here mind the mortar and then I know that I've got to pull that block over and that'll be dead right now when I come to run my paving that's beautiful that's just what I want Lovely, won't it? Oh no. Get it looped up then, Doc. I don't need book a week off. I'll just have a week off. Finish the garden. What would you go do after break or finish the garden? Uh, 
finish the garden. I thought you were going to say that. Work on site. Definitely, I'd love to work on site. Instead of a week off or a week's holiday, we're working on site all week, aren't we, Doc? I'm trying to finish the garden every weekend. up to a dead man I'll set that the same and then we're away and right, now I've set up my dead man there pull the line through and it's as simple as running it from one end to the other just like this I'm not gonna pick and dip them because I've got I do want it to be fairly strong.
That's the uh, finished article of me little sleeper wall rather than having sleepers. I know what a sleeper wall's for before you even say. Sleeper walls go under concrete floors. Well, that's my sleeper wall. Now that will have, that's gonna have two 450 by 450 slabs going across from there to the back and there'll be a little gravel trap just behind. That's what I want. Or I can do it two ways. I can either have it go into the back of this wall here and having it flush against that. Or I can have a little gravel trap behind it and having it flush to the face of this so the water comes off and goes that way. Either way, it doesn't really bother me. I'll uh, see what she wants. But that's a nice morning and we are going to go out for dinner again. So the time is half 11. We've got two hours sort out, get all my stuff together and I can start leveling this up now. See, you can see the levels that I need to make up. Uh, so I can pull a load of this dust and everything back and I can dig off to make it nice and level in here chuck all the stuff just over there and then that will be my area for I'm all prepped then basically to put my astro my uh, artificial grass in and that is all prepped now for one job we've got one job left to do here two jobs I think I'm going to put a block flat from there down this section on top of there thinking about it because I've got 40 blocks left um, and I've got to raise this gully this gully definitely needs raising because I'm gonna have a new door in here once I have a new door in I'm bringing that door up and I'm putting a new concrete floor in there so that gully's got come up 150 so I'm gonna have to break that out I might see if Dean and Scott will lend me their uh, jigger pick. Break that out, raise that up, and that's the last job. And then we're ready for patio. Patio. Steps. Toppers go on. Uh, my path across here. And then artificial grass. I'm going to put decking oil on my fence, same as Scott and Dean have done on that job and I spray that on and I'm also gonna paint me wall white happy days well that's us for this job today I'm gonna use the rest of this mortar and chuck it behind the wall chuck it up there behind that just give it a little bit more strength and uh, that's a wrap in fact what I'm gonna do now because I've got a bit of mortar left over I'm just gonna rake this edge out to you and put some mortar down that edge just underneath that sleeper so nothing can fall back under there and sink uh may as well use it up and whatever i've got i'll do the same on the other side as well and that'll be a better job and then i will concrete the back of that so the, the grass sits on it 